Hello friends, this is Samo once again from Sonitech. Okay, so welcome to our second project of our mini bootstrap course. Okay, so in this very build, we're going to be customizing bootstraps, traditional now, but something more nicer. We're going to make it transparent and uh, play around with some cool stuff. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'll be making a source code available in my GitHub. I'll be leaving a link to it. So when you get to my GitHub, you see this uh, repo, you can go ahead and clone this repository using the git clone and you add this link and you're good to go okay so without further ado let me just grab this piece of code you can find it at getbootstrap.com you go to component and navbar i want to paste it inside of visual studio code so let me wrap this inside of a nav tag so i'm going to do nav and uh paste it here and let's see our output okay so uh okay so this is our output and it's uh, responsive okay so nice so now let's play around with this okay so i want to center this in the middle uh so let's do this real quick okay so please follow along closely okay so i'm going to change this me to x and this should do the magic all right life server okay so fine 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 so it's something carried off uh this disabled class i don't think i need it and uh let's see let's see uh what's wrong with lifesaver okay so now let's get rid of this input and uh okay so where the input where's the input i think i just uncomment this out and uh with this search let's change this to login login okay so nice okay so now let's also i'm going to show you how to use the chrome developer tools to style bootstrap as in to select the classes so i'm going to right click on this and go to inspect and what else can i do okay so i'm going to click on this plus icon here and let's add some style so let's do uh, border i think border radius yes so border radius of 20 pixels uh, let's give it some padding uh, let's do say 0 0.7 rem top and down and 1 rem oh one rem is too much okay so let's do 0 0.8 wow okay i think you should go with the one rem and uh, uh let's see one rem no it's not nice okay so 0 0.6 and uh, 1.5 rem okay so it looks cool okay great 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 oh okay we'll pick it like that <laughs> okay so this one is cool so now let's grab this and uh, paste it inside of Visual Studio Code. Oh, okay, so I have some predefined styles. My style of CSS is quite busy. So now let's paste this here. And uh, when I get rid of this, and when Live Server reloads, we still have this here. Okay, so now let's style this. I'm going to click on Inspect one more time. and Okay, so we get this so we can change the color to white but before we do so uh, let's remove this background color so back to our index.html and you see here we have something like vg light you can get rid of it so what's wrong with lifesaver okay so it works fine okay so now we can style this so inspect okay so i think before we do so one more time let's get rid of this active class on our home so it's just the nav links so please follow along closely okay okay so that's nice i think my life server is, is having some trouble i don't know why okay so one more time let's click on the plus icon and let's change the color to white it's not working i don't know why i'll fix it okay okay i just realized something we can do the styling in here okay so with the home we can click add a class of uh, text white yes yeah, so text white and i think i can copy this and paste it here paste it here where's the last one uh, okay the last one should be here okay so now let's see if that works fine I think I can close this panel. Okay, so it works fine. 
so let's do one more thing let's increase the font size so let's do font size and say five oh now let's make it four no, five is cool and uh, let's do this real quick so fs is it five or four what did i do okay i think it's five okay so one more time uh fs five okay so this should be fine what's wrong with my life server okay so it looks good so now let's start our nav brand you can change this to your name your company name or you can fix an image there if you have if you have one okay so now let's start this so i think we can do a font size and uh two rem it's two rem okay well, let me see three rem oh no three rem is too big okay so, okay so let's do two rem and let's set the font to weight font weight to 400 okay i think 600 will do and uh, let's set the color to white okay the color is not working yet i don't know why but i'll i'll, I'll check that out okay so we have to copy this and go back to our styles to our css so and paste this here and get rid of the color and add bootstraps color so now front so instead of the class i add text white yeah text white or you can do it text light it should work fine okay so cool 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 we're making progress right okay so it works fine okay so now let's check the responsiveness okay everything looks nice okay so we want to add some media queries so now when we shrink the window this will be at the center and we have to change this to okay so now i think we can inspect this right click inspect okay so uh, right clicking outside and we can inspect this and uh add some styles okay so the button dot so i want to do box shadow none okay box shadow none and we add important okay it's fine 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 okay where is it that i copied it okay so this let me be sure okay so let's try this one more time i want to select outside of this uh so inspect and uh wow okay so the box shadow none and we add the importance okay okay so before we do so i just realized something let's head over to font awesome.com and search for bar and grab this okay so i've linked my font also so you can go to cdngs and search for font and grab this script tag and paste it inside of your vs code as in here okay so i've copied this i'm going to paste it here okay so guys please follow along closely okay so i'm going to look for the button the button the button okay so this one so let me uncomment this out and okay so uncomment and paste this here and let's see if that works okay so cool 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 i think i can minimize this okay so it works fine so now we can select this so inspect and click here and set the border to none the border to none okay so it works fine and increase the font size to say two rem okay let me click and see okay so it looks fine uh i think i lost it okay so it's here so now let's copy this and paste it inside of our styles to css okay cool 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 so what do you have next oh uh, let's look at the media queries part okay so you can see let me shrink, shrink this okay so let's click this okay so now uh ah, media queries okay so i think i define my media queries here and uh, what can we do so we can also use the chrome developer to to get the right class because bootstrap comes with a lot of classes okay so we can select this and uh, not the body i think i want this inspect one more time and uh, yes i can grab this and paste it here and i'm 
going to do the display flex align item center item center and just like what is center okay so i think it should work fine uh what's wrong okay so it works fine is that because of this okay 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 cool 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 and what do you want to get i want to get this button as well so i want to inspect this and uh, so grab this one too so copy and grab it and i want to display none display none yes on smaller screen so yeah, let's see okay so it works fine okay okay so guys um we've come to the end of our tutorial you see you're able to transform this boring bootstrap snuff bar into something more nicer like this so you can play around with this and yeah so try and try and build project it's going to help you okay so please subscribe if you haven't and share this video bye bye